whether that's wreaking havoc across the prairies from toppled transports near Calgary to more than 50 cars piled up west of the city to a wind-fueled wildfire that was uncontrolled for part of Sunday in the southern part of the province, leading to evacuations and destroying several homes. On Sunday and Monday, Alberta's weather has ranged from thunderstorms to wind warnings and almost everything in between. A low pressure system from the Pacific bringing the moisture and the drastic changes in conditions. So as it tracks through and works across the prairies, there's lots of energy built in there and that creates the warnings in the active weather. And what caught some by surprise was the huge swing between Sunday and Monday. On Sunday, it was 15 degrees and sunny, but less than 24 hours later, the temperature had fallen 24 degrees. It's one of my better catches. But there is a silver lining. The snowfall that this system is bringing across the prairies, especially across southern Saskatchewan and Manitoba, uh, is very good news, of course. That snowpack is needed because of the uh, sort of moderate drought that's happening across the southern parts of those provinces. Alberta is known for its variety pack of weather in the spring, so no one event can be tied to climate change, says meteorologist Natasha Ramsahai. But that doesn't mean we aren't seeing the effects. When we get extreme, they stick around longer. And when we get a lot of snow, it's more than usual. When we get cold weather, it's colder than average. And so these extremes are just becoming a little bit more amplified. <sighs> And for many Albertans, this event is a stark reminder that winter weather isn't over just yet. In Calgary, Kara Campbell, City News.